Haunted houses were usually just silly made up stories to scare children. However, are there any actual real haunted houses out there in the world? Well, I'll leave that up to you guys to decide whether or not you want to believe these. Today, I'll be listing 10 haunted houses that are actually real. Number 10. Villisca Axe Murder House, Iowa. On June 9th, 1912, eight people were brutally murdered by an unknown intruder wielding an axe. Six out of the eight were only children. The news about this tragic event spread like wildfire, many tried to search for the killer. To this day, no one knows who ended up killing the people within the house, however many say that the house is filled with the lingering spirits of the dead. Apparently many different paranormal investigators have picked up on a number of different disturbing sounds like disembodied footsteps and faint voices. Tours also go through this house but are often cut short due to the unknown noises like children crying and laughing, falling objects and rearranged furniture. Number 9. Manresa Castle, Washington Manresa Castle is now a hotel located in Port Townsend, however it was a former mansion back in 1892. The original plan for this building was for it to be a hotel, which ironically it is now. However, business fell through so the Eisenbaiers family decided to turn it into their home. In 1902, Charles Eisenbaier ended up dying and his wife left the house to remarry. Many years passed and around 1968, the building became the hotel it was built for. It has been told that rooms 302, 304 and 306 are haunted. People have explained that they have heard footsteps above these rooms in the attics and glasses have been reported to turn upside down unknowingly. Number 8. Morris Jumel Mansion, New York this is Manhattan's oldest home, being built back in 1765, meaning that this place has a ton of history. Over the years, several different spirits have been sighted roaming the hallways of this landmark. Most commonly noted is Eliza Jumel, who was Jumel's wife. Once Jumel passed away, Eliza sought after another man who ended up being Aaron Burr, who was a former vice president. They both ended up divorcing, and Eliza ended up dying alone in the house. There's been reports of a person visiting the house and having a heart attack from coming in contact with one of the wandering spirits, and even having a visitor faint after seeing a soldier walk out of a painting. Number 7. Sayer Castle, Kansas City Built in 1871 and originally from Austria, this house contains many different tragedies and deaths. The first deaths were Eve and John S. Dot Perkins, who ended up shooting themselves. A young girl also ended up drowning in a pool on the property, and the very first owner, Anton, also died on the property as well. Due to all the non-peaceful deaths, this place instantly went downhill. Apparently lights appear in the lookout tower randomly, as well as strange lights floating around the property. When the house was left empty, many reported that they could hear crying, shouting and laughter coming from inside of the house as well. Different people have also been sighted in the lookout tower of the house, which many believe are the spirits who once lived there. Number 6. The Octagon House, Washington Constructed in 1801, this building was built for Colonel John Taylor and was briefly the site of the French Embassy during the War of 1812. Many residents in DC say that this building is the most haunted in Washington due to being a center for paranormal activity. The most unusual of which are strange footsteps heard near the staircase every so often and a faint saddened voice of a woman throughout the house. Doors are also randomly locked without anyone actually locking them and lights have been reported to turn off and on unexpectedly. Number 5. Levy House, Nevada Built in 1906 by a local businessman called William Levy, many who go through this house today say that they can hear running footsteps on the second and third floor hallways. Strange cool breezes and random chills are common in the house explained by the people who had once lived in the manor too. Other strange occurrences include items around the house being rearranged, people getting headaches, as well as the feeling of uneasiness is common as well. Many say that these experiences are, well, from the spirits who never ended up leaving the manor. Number 4. Edinburgh Castle, Scotland 
Said to be one of the most haunted spots in Scotland, Edinburgh Castle is a 900-year-old fortress built on a hill in Edinburgh. Back in the 1800s, when the Black Death Plague started, many in Edinburgh died in the streets and rumours say that not only the castle, but the streets surrounding it are filled with the spirits who lost their lives to the plague. In 2001, from April 6th to 17th, a massive scientific study was created to investigate the paranormal activities of Edinburgh Castle throughout the many different areas of the castle, like the cellars, dungeon, vaults, and chambers. The investigators reported that they encountered many different shadowy figures, the feeling of their clothing being tugged at, the sensation of their faces being touched, and even a burning sensation around their arms. Number 3. Bangar Fort, India Bangar Fort is a famous haunted location in India and many believe it to be the most haunted area in Asia. The fort was constructed in the 17th century and legend has it that a wizard who studied black magic resided there fell in love with the princess of Bangar. He ended up creating a potion for the princess and hoped that he would persuade her to be with him. However, the girl saw through the wizard's tricks and threw the potion onto a nearby boulder which caused it to roll down the hill towards the fort. Seconds before the wizard's death, he cursed the whole area so that no one would be able to live in the fort ever again. Ever since that happening, people ended up abandoning the fort to the outside limits as they have reported it to be completely and utterly haunted. Although the story sounds extremely far-fetched, if you were to ask one of the locals to go to the fort, they would instantly refuse. Number 2. Limp Mansion, Missouri Completed in 1868, Limp Mansion is known for its continual tragedies that kept occurring in it. A man named Frederick was meant to carry on a family business inside the house, but unexpectedly died from an illness. A few years later, William S.R. ended up shooting himself in the house, and his son followed years later and committed suicide as well by shooting himself too. Elsa Limp, the daughter of William S.R., committed suicide as well in 1920 by gunfire, and finally in 1949, Charles, who was another one of William's sons, ended up killing himself. From all those suicides, we can very easily tell that this building has a very tragic history. From those who go through the mansion now experience an array of different strange happenings, like doors being slammed, odd footsteps from behind, knocking on doors, and even the constant feeling of being watched. Number 1. King Seat, Auckland, New Zealand I thought I'd add this location as it's in my own country. King's Seat is a former psychiatric hospital that is New Zealand's most notorious haunted location. This complex housed many mentally insane people in different units and was shut down in 1999. Many say that more nurses died than the actual patients and that a few of the nurses ended up killing themselves on the grounds due to the high stress levels of their jobs. The building was abandoned from 1999 to 2005 and people reported that they heard screams and crying coming from the building between those years. Ironically now, King Seat is a scare park called Spookers which leads you throughout the house in the dark to encounter many different creepy happenings. Well guys, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day today to watch today's episode of The Big Ten. In case you missed the last episode, you can simply click the video that is playing on screen now and that will link you to the previous episode. Also, if you guys would like to, be sure to check out my other channel which is The Gamers Joint. I do all stuff gaming. There. And also, if you want to sort of keep up to date with what I'm doing as far as this channel goes and my other channel, then follow me on Twitter. The Twitter link is on the screen right now. Otherwise, guys, hopefully you're having a great day, and until next time, I'll catch you later.